I think that's the most head we've gotten on here. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Beer on with Jesse. Glad to have you back. It's time for another beer review. Tonight, we're going to be drinking all the way from Belgium, Duvel, uh, world famous beer. There's actually a reason why I'm going to review this beer. It's because a few episodes back, one of the viewers commented that um, I should try reviewing some beers that are more accessible to them because maybe they're, they don't live in California, you know, they don't get the beers that we get or that I get here. So I figured you can't go wrong with Duvel. Like I said, it's uh, world famous, so I'm I'm sure you'll be able to find this if you haven't had it already. Not just you, but anybody else watching this, anybody else that wants to try it. So let's go ahead and pour this into the proper uh, glass here and uh, review it. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it smells like. Let's see what it tastes like. Well, let's get right to it. Yeah. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't used this one in a while on the, the videos. So I figured I'll use it right now. Oh, I, I was supposed to open it, but it closed. Ah, that'll do it. Okay, do well, guys. Now, again, it's Virgin Golden Ale, and it comes in at an 8.5% ABV. It's bottle conditioned. It's a bottle conditioned beer. And I believe once they bottled it, they actually age it for another two months in their cellars. So, um, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. Duvel. Ah, oh, sweet. I don't think I have their bottle cap. I'm going to keep this for the collection. <laughs> it's not much of a collection, but whatever. Uh, Alright. Let's put it into a glass, guys. Yeah. Cool, man. Look at this big ass glass. I think it's freaking huge and smudgy. Nice. Let's check this out. All the way from Belgium, guys. Oh, fuck. No. No. Too much head. Too much head. Damn it. I yeah, fucked up. Actually, no, I didn't. I was reading somewhere that right where the logo was at, that's, well, for this beer in particular, right where the logo was at, that's where the beer and the head are supposed to separate. So I think I did a good job. It's still a lot of fucking head. Ah, it smells good already. Um, <laughs> damn, man. We usually get like a finger, a two finger thick head. This is like a whole fucking head. Look at this. That's awesome though. Nice. Well, all right. Let's look. Let's take a look at this beer. <laughs> it's a nice golden color to it. It is a Belgian golden ale, of course. Uh, nice, big, puffy white head. Nice. And bubbly up on top. It's actually sticking around. Usually, uh, we usually see the head disappear pretty quickly. This is sticking around. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Uh, that's that's quite a bit of foam to work through. Um, it looks great though. Other than the fact that it's a lot of head, it just it looks great. Can you guys see the bubble right in there? Pretty good combination on this. That was cool. You guys see that? Right down the middle. Right up the middle. That was dope. That was fucking dope. There's a little bit left in here. I guess we could pour it. And something that I just noticed. Oh, fuck, whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Fuck it. It's all in. Uh, I just noticed this is actually supposed to be enjoyed by February of 2017. So you can age them. Obviously, you can age those beers. Um, oh, cool. I mean, I probably could have sat on this for another year then. Well, I could have. I could have sat on this for another year. I still would have tasted fantastic. Uh, oh, look at the head. Look at that. It's like a cloud on top of my beer. Oh, I just want to lick that off. Uh, <laughs> All right, cool. Um, I hope the, uh, the, uh, the, the foam on this 
doesn't make it hard for me to, you know, get the aromas and the taste. Well, it's only one way to find out, guys. Let's check this out. Let's see what we get off the aroma. Once again, Dubel from Belgium. Oh, that smells really good. I'm getting a slight, uh, slight hints of a. Uh, there's some clove in here. You get that nice. If you guys are familiar with uh, Belgian beers, uh, it has a nice fucking Belgian yeast aroma to it. You just know it's gonna be a Belgian ale, and you just get the aroma off the nose there. It smells fucking great. Slight, ah, uh, a little bit of citrus in this. It's not, it's not, you know, strong or dominant, but it's, it's there. It's a little bit of citrus, citrus aroma in this. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it smells great. It smells great. Looks great. Thick head, thick lacing. By the way, it's my first time trying out this glass. Um, I've actually been sitting on this beer since last year. Um, yeah, I guess time to drink him, right? Fuck okay. it. Salud, guys. Ah, that smells, that smells great. That smells great. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's, that's good. I haven't had this in a while. I've had it numerous times, just not in a while. So it's good. It's good to come back to this beer. Look at that. Oh, sweet. Look at that lacing. A little... Looks like a little, what do you call them? The little, uh, marshmallow? There's like a fucking marshmallow up on top. Look at that. It's cool. It's crazy. I haven't seen that in a while. Huh. Now, was it, was it my pour or was it just the beer itself? That's weird. Ah, I don't know. I'm, I'm okay with it though. It tastes great. It smells great. It tastes really good. I'm getting, li I'm getting some small notes of uh, lemon on this. Slight citrus notes. A little bit of clove in there. For some reason, I'm getting some... Uh, I don't want to call it banana. Banana? <laughs> what? Yeah, slight notes of banana. Really... Um... Mild notes, not slight notes. Mild, mild banana notes on this. Doesn't have any bananas in it. It's just something that I'm getting off of it. So we're clear. <laughs> banana beer. What? I just thought about that. I'm gonna go get some banana beer. If I could review that for you guys. So yeah. Um. Again, this beer is pretty easy to find. I mean, it's easy to find because it's freaking everywhere. It's all over the world. Um. And it's really good. I can honestly see why it's world famous, why it's known all over the world. Um, and definitely, if you guys haven't already, I highly suggest picking this up. Now, uh, it's pretty cool because they actually sell these in these small little bottles, these small, you know, funny shaped little bottles here with the little, you know. Um, and they also have these in the bigger bottles. What is it like a seven fifty milliliters? I want the freaking crocs croc tax on them, and I think I've seen them in the three liter bottles too. There's some big ass bottles of this stuff out there. So um, yeah, man. That's, I mean, that's just cool, you know. No, 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 uh, no difference in the beer itself. It's just pretty cool to have a you know big ass three liter bottle or something. That would be pretty dope. I should pick one of those up and fucking uh, light the whole thing out here. Damn. <laughs> um. So yeah, this is a pretty good beer. Really good beer. I'd recommend it. Um, again, if you haven't already, go pick this up. It's out there. It's not hard to find at all. I mean, if for some reason you can't find it or you're having a hard time finding it, let me know. I'll try to point you guys in the right direction. Assuming I know where you live. But just let me know where you live and I'll point you in the right direction. <laughs> the little freaking marshmallow still on top of that. Can you guys see that? Fuck, oh, excuse me. 
also, uh, we will carbonate it. We will carbonate it beer. Has a nice little bubbly sensation on the tongue there. At least, and then uh, leaving behind a nice uh, warm feeling in the back of the mouth on the way down. Nice and warm. It's warm, it's dry on the way down. And it's just really good. Overall, good beer. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and maybe go get some more beers. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed drinking this beer and making lame head jokes. <laughs> it's still there, isn't it? I just want to scoop it up and eat it. Ah, oh, it smells so good, guys. I'm definitely getting the clove. <sighs> nice lemon aroma to it. Not strong, not strong or dominant, but it's there. Very mild. Yeah, very pleasing. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, we have a lot more videos coming up. I have a lot more beers in the fridge. Um, <clears throat> I don't even want to go over what I have because there's just so much shit in there, which I, I need to go through. I need to get those beers on this table and review them for you guys. We need to make space in that fridge for more beer. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Once again, we're all over social media. If you're not already, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter. And again, I'm a little more um, active on Facebook. So yeah, just follow us up on there. I'm going to post links up to the videos. Um, if you guys new, just post random stuff. Be related, always be related. And, um, and I'll also be posting links on there from my blog, which I'm going to continue to do now. I said that a few episodes back, I used to do a blog of beer reviews as well, and I just stopped. Once I started doing these videos, I stopped typing up my reviews, so I'm going to try to pick that up again. I actually have like three reviews that I you know, wrote up and I never typed up, so I'm going to type those up and throw them on the blog. Those uh, links, that information will be on our Facebook page, so if you guys are interested in reading up on these uh, reviews that I write. Uh, Follow us up, follow us on Facebook. You'll get all the info there. So yeah, thanks again for tuning in, guys. And I will see you again in the next episode. Once again, this was Duvel from Belgium. It's a bottle conditioned Belgian strong ale, Belgian golden ale, coming in and at an eight point five percent ABV. I freaking love these little bottles. Look at these things. They're freaking cool. Salud, guys. Ah, look at the lacing. There's a little marshmallow in the middle. Ah, that looks fucking beautiful. Alright, let's grab another beer.